Hi, I'm Steve Chong in the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. This semester I've been teaching CS 153, a compilers class. This course is very programming intensive. Students do uh, uh, almost all of their assessment, all of their assignments, and to be honest, most of their learning comes from doing some intense programming throughout the semester. So with the advent of generative AI, programs are, of course, using these tools to support their programming. The approach that we took in this class was to allow students to use generative AI tools, but with restrictions. Um, we allowed them to use them the same way that they would appear, and to be honest, for the same reasons. So we allow students to talk with their peers about high-level concepts. We tell them that if they're talking in words and not in code, it's okay. And this is great. We want students to talk with each other about the ideas, to learn from each other, help them triangulate their understanding of the concepts. We also allow students to talk with each other about low-level ideas. If they have an error in their code, if they're not sure how to use a particular library, they can talk with each other to figure it out. With respect to generative AI tools, allowing the same things so that they can get the high-level concepts clear. So using, for example, chat GPT and talking in words to explain something we covered in the lecture, totally fine. Using chat GPT to give low-level information about, say, an error that they have in their code is also fine. It's that bit in the middle that they need to be careful with because the generative AI tools can, to be honest, provide pretty full implementations of the homework assignments. What this means at a practical level is that the students need to disable generative AI tools such as Copilot and so on in their interactive development environments, the editors that they're using to write the programs. To be honest, I think programmers will increasingly use AI as a tool to support their programming to become more effective, more productive. However, a lot of the learning within computer science courses, at least, is going to be achieved by the students actually going through the intellectual effort of thinking through the design and implementation of code. So I anticipate that even as AI gets better, there are still going to be some courses perhaps such as this compilers course going forward, where students will need to just turn off that ability and go through the hard work of thinking how to implement things by themselves.